All right, so today is day 251. I bought these two little red tail catfish 251 days ago. I've been taking videos every day, posting them on YouTube so you can see how fast they grow. Speaking of how fast they grow, take a look at this. I finally glued on the rocks on the corners of my little measuring grid here. So, I have a catfish under my grid. <laughs> Let me see if I can get a measurement of this guy. <laughs> He's like underneath. All right, buddy. Here we go, here we go. I actually used a hot glue gun to glue it on. So we'll see if we can get a good measurement. Uh, I might not be able to, to get it exactly until I go back in the video and kind of slow it down. All right, I'm gonna turn off the pump here. And I'm gonna start with some hand feeding and see if I can kind of lure them up. I'm thinking they're at least 10 inches long, maybe. Maybe 10 inches. All right, let's see if I can get them up here. Kind of give them a little smell of this fish here I got from the freezer. Come on, buddy. Let's see if we can get a measurement. All right, all right. Let's see if we can get them. Uh, <laughs> he ran into it. That's funny. All right, buddy. This might be a little bit tricky. Let's see if we can get him up here. He's a little cautious, maybe a little cautious. <laughs> a little confused. <laughs> I think my grid's too big, he can't get around it. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. All right, come on, come on. All right, there you go. Come on up, up, up. <laughs> All right. I think he's going to have to figure out the... How to get around the the grid he keeps hitting the bottom of it and there you go come around the side here come over here around the side <laughs> all right this fish is really confused <laughs> ah this guy is being kind of stubborn uh i suppose what i could do i could take the filter out i could put it right on the bottom and then i could get the filter out with my net i could use one of the rocks to get the filter out i don't know what that other catfish is doing it's weird one of them's been eating one of them's hasn't really been e eating that good but <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work or not. All right. So plan B. <laughs> All right. Plan B, plan B. I want to try and take the filter out. We'll see if we can get them sitting on the grid on the bottom. Maybe that'll work. I don't remember it being this hard <laughs> trying to get them. Uh, as a matter of fact, when I, uh, sometimes when I measure them, sometimes I, I couldn't get a measurement for a couple days. Sometimes I just give up. But I think we could get it if we put it on the bottom. Maybe, maybe. We'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's see if I can get it here. Oh, oh, now I have a catfish under the grid. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right, that didn't work too good. <laughs> I almost squashed my catfish. Luckily, those rocks aren't that heavy. <laughs> wow. All right, so we'll see here. You know what I could do is I could just leave that grid on the bottom. I guess. All right, buddy. How about if I just throw a piece of fish over there? Maybe he'll grab it. 
Maybe, maybe. <laughs> I think he sees it. Uh, this is kind of a fail. <laughs> All right, uh, a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to throw the rest of the fish in there. And we'll see. You know what I think I'll do? Uh, I think I'll put this camera in the housing and do some underwater video. And we'll see if we can get kind of a better... Because it's kind of... The top of the water is kind of making everything skewed a little bit. All right. So if I get a measurement today, it'll be a miracle. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to take this camera, put it in an underwater housing, and see if we can get a measurement on this guy.